we need to remember that as we walk along life's highway, we never really know where we're going, do we? I mean, we may have plans, we may have maps, and we may have gas for a trip, but in reality, we are as blind to what will happen one second from now as if our physical eyes were blind and we were on a twisted, crooked, dangerous path. And I'm going to give you an example of a video I saw about two weeks ago on uh, Facebook. Somebody posted it. There was an accident on a highway. A guy slid into another car and the car started to turn and he was flung out of that window. And he literally went probably 30 stories or, or 300 feet in the air, cartwheeling. His arms were out and, you know, he landed and that was the end of him. But one second earlier, that guy did not realize that his final moment on earth was at that point. And not to be morbid here, but as we sit in church right now, a meteor could come through the roof and it could destroy us. It could crush the entire strip mall that we're in. A car could come right through the front wall of this building and it could crush all of us. Except maybe me. I've got the pulpit in front of me, but the rest of you would be goners. Or a jetliner could come through. It's on its way to Sarasota Airport. It loses an engine. It loses power. And it would plow through all of us, including me behind the pulpit, like a steamroller. It would be the end of us. And yet we sit here contently, despite having actually no control at all around of anything around us. Naomi had left Bethlehem to go to Moab with her family, and she lost everything. When she left, she had no idea what would happen. Now, as she's starting her trip back to Israel, she has no idea what's going to transpire there as well. Each moment of our life is uncertain, and without God, it is a useless, vain existence, which ultimately ends in futility. However, with God, the unseen future may still be a mystery, but it is not futile. Whatever happens along the way, the end, the final destination is assured. Naomi struggled to see this, but we have her life, which is recorded to show us more than what she could see. And that brings us to our text verse today, which comes from Isaiah chapter 42. I will bring the blind by a way they did not know. I will lead them in paths they have not known. I will make darkness light before them and crooked places straight. These things I will do for them and not forsake them. The Bible, with its many unusual stories and hard to figure details, is still very plain nonetheless. It shows us where we were, where we are, and where we're headed to. And even though the details of our lives are left out, the Bible shows us the truth that there is an overarching plan by the hand of providence which is guiding us and it's guiding all things to a very good end for those who are willing to accept its premises. It is a book which tells a much greater story than we might possibly imagine. That God has a plan, that it is being worked out, and that it centers on his entrance into the world in order to make all things right. It is all focused on Jesus Christ. Naomi did not know this, but we do. And so with the assurance that God loves us enough to give us his son and to reveal him in his superior word. Let's turn to that word again. And may God speak to us through his word today and may his glorious name ever be praised.